So what we have in this question are two shells, one of mass M1 and the outer one is of mass M2. So the question is, what is the force of gravity on you when you are at a radius C from the center and then when you are at a radius B and finally when you are at a radius A from the center. So let's go ahead and find what is the force of gravity on you when you are over here at a radius C from the center. So we can say that the force of gravity is equal to G into mass and mass here would be you can see M1 plus M2 because you can assume that the entire mass of M1 and M2 is concentrated at the center and therefore the total mass applicable in this equation is M1 plus M2 into your mass let us say your mass is M upon R square and here R square would be nothing but C square. Now in second instance you move a little inside that is you go inside the outer shell and now we can say the force is equal to and let's call this force 2 and this first force F1 and this force F2 would now equal to G into the mass and now you can see the relevant mass is only M1 because mass M2 is not impressing any force on you because you are inside the shell and as per the shell theorem you should not experience any force on account of the outer shell. So the relevant mass to consider is M1 and your mass continues to remain the same at M and this time around the radius now becomes B and you take square of that. Now when you move inside the inner shell let us say the force on you is F3 and you'll find that this should equal zero because you're inside the inner shell and again as per shell theorem there should be no force acting on you because you're inside the shell and if you go back to the lesson where I've explained shell theorem the theory is that if you take the vector sum of all the forces acting on you on account of various pieces of this shell or for that matter various pieces of this shell the net sum of the vectors would turn out to be zero and that is actually the shell theorem wherein if you're inside a shell then there will be no force acting on you.